Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Wait until you're home to click this. And this is a bracket clue, so this means we need to come up with a nonverbal equivalent. I think this is going to be NSFW. That's something you might see in an email or a text. Airport servicing New York's tri-state area. That's gotta be Newark in New Jersey. Pinched. That could mean stole, or maybe it's stolen. This is very tricky because this could be a past tense verb or it could be an adjective. It looks like in this case it's an adjective. Be defeated by. Hmm, maybe that's fall to. Let's see if this is right. What the R of AARP stands for, abbreviated? Yeah, I believe that's the American Association of Retired Persons. Nice, okay. Widely recognized. It seems like that has to be known. Coffee shop freebie. A freebie? Hmm, I don't know. Shopify specialty. Well, that's an e-tail company. Okay. This might be our first theme answer here. Longtime host of CNN's The Situation Room. It's looking like this is going to be Wolf Blitzer. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, maybe this is Wi-Fi. Yeah, that is a freebie at a coffee shop. Dumbbell figures. That's got to be pounds. Biblical figure with an unnamed wife. It looks like that might be a lot. Blank Janny, Oscar winner for I, Tanya. Uh, I don't know this for sure, but it looks like it has to be Allison. Bring under control. I wonder if that's rain in. Number after a phone number. That could be an extension. Industry briefly. That could be... The biz, single use plastics, environmental concern. This sucks. And this is an exclamation mark clue, so we need something that literally sucks. Hmm, it's not a vacuum. In which pictures of a bill plus gates equals a noted business executive. Yeah, that would be an example of a traditional rebus. Bill Gates, okay. Simply B, that's gotta be exist. So what is this? This sucks. Hmm, I don't know. More up to the task. I would want this to be abler. Is that right? Oh, it's a straw. Yeah, you would suck up a drink through a straw, okay. 11 time PGA Tour player of the year. Wow, okay, this has to be a really good golfer. It's gotta be Tiger Woods, right? I wonder if our theme today is just gonna be people whose first name is the name of an animal. We have Tiger and Wolf so far. Came in just over par. I guess Tiger Woods wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> That's gotta be bogeyed. Uh, let's see if I can spell this. Is it like that? Walk or trot, that would be a gate. Okay. Help for mom and pop shops in brief. Hmm, I wonder if this is an SBA loan or loans, maybe. Yeah, small business administration. Let's see if that's right. Quiet, an equivalent phrase. Yeah, that's probably a shush, right? Sweetheart, is that Bay, it's a very modern pet name. One at a time. So we have Hearst, newspaper tycoon who inspired Citizen Kane. Yeah, I think that is right. Terse one star review, hated it. Yeah, all right. Explode on the internet. That has to be go viral, right? Spooky sounding lake. That has to be Lake Erie, one of the Great Lakes. Shared with for feedback. 
shared with? Hmm, I don't know. What do we have here? Efren who directed Sleepless in Seattle. That's Nora Efren. Grammy winning singer Saint. Hmm, I don't think I've ever heard of this person, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's Saint Vincent. Let's see. Shared with for feedback. Hmm, maybe this is ran by. Ooh, that was tricky to see. Like most rec leagues. I guess they would be co-ed probably. All right, let's see what our revealer is. We have a feeling that it's gonna be about people with animal names. Rap group with the classic 1986 album License to Ill or a description of 17, 24, 48, and 57 across. Oh, this is a really cute revealer. This has gotta be the Beastie Boys. And all of our theme answers, it appears, are gonna be Beastie Boys of a different kind. That's really funny. They're roasted at a roast. Hmm. Final four initials. That's gotta be NCAA, right? Highball clinkers. A highball is a kind of glass, so this could be ice, as long as you don't order your drink neat. Spanish 101 infinitive. Oh man, I never took Spanish. It might be like estas maybe? It could be a lot of other things too. Conservative. Hmm, I don't know. Chamber member. Chamber? I wonder what kind of chamber they're talking about. Hmm. Check for bugs. I wonder if this is talking about software bugs. This could be beta test, right? Nice. That was nicely ambiguous. Toss in a chip, say? I guess that's got to be ante in a poker game. Brusque. Hmm. So that means you're kind of short and rude with someone? I wonder if it's abrupt. Would that fit? Yeah, it would. Midnight Cowboy nickname. That's gotta be Ratso. Ratso Rizzo. Small thing to pluck. Maybe that's a uke? That's short for ukulele. Sherlock Holmes and Veronica Mars for short. They were both private investigators. Boom sticks. I guess that would be sticks of TNT. Return after curfew say. Maybe that's sneak in. They're roasted. Oh, I guess this is talking about a literal roast. I guess this could be tofu wieners, right? Nice, okay. So we kind of hit our next theme answer. It's gonna start with Bear, the man in Man vs. Wild. I've never seen this, but I have heard the name Bear Grills before. I think it's with a Y. Let's see if this is right. Spanish 101, oh man. Oh boy. Conservative, maybe they're talking about a British conservative. That could be a Tory. Okay. Chamber member. Oh, I guess that's a senator. Speedy horse breed. I wanna say that's an Arab. So this is a star? Oof, I don't think I would've guessed that. It's packed for a quick getaway. That should be a go bag. Calls from a pasture. Maybe that's Bleats. Tina Fey was its first female head writer in brief. That'll be SNL. I wonder what our last Beastie Boy is gonna be. Wild West showman who lent his name to an NFL team. That's gotta be Buffalo Bill Cody, right? Nice, okay. Up to now. Maybe that's as yet? Acquires. It's not just gets. Winningest team in the Women's World Cup. That's the USA, yeah. Post-it note abbreviation for your information. Bog. That could also be called a fen. So this is gains, acquires, there we go. Give the right. Hmm, 
it's not in Dao. One up. Maybe that's top. Let's see. Sacred bird of ancient Egypt. Yeah, that's an ibis. Maybe this is in title. There we go. Series opener. Shouldn't that be part one? What kind of series are we talking about here? Tools with teeth. That should be saws. Fifth century conqueror. It's gotta be Attila the Hun. Like lemons, but not oranges. I guess oranges aren't yellow. Gets the let out, or maybe gets the lead out? This is wordplay. So they might be trying to mislead us with this ambiguous word here. Hmm. Critical times. Yeah, that's gotta be D days. President pro tem. Pro tempore is a Latin term that means for the time being. Uh, gets the let out. Oh, maybe it smells. Yeah, because you're literally smelting lead ore. Very funny. And this is pilot. Oh, it's a series on television. That makes sense. All right, well, let's throw this T in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 16 minutes. So today we had four Beastie Boys as theme answers. Yeah, we get this fun revealer about a classic rap group. And then we have four boys or men who have beasts as their first name. Wolf Blitzer, Tiger Woods, Bear Grylls, and Buffalo Bill. Yeah, I think the theme was definitely the highlight of this puzzle. But there was some fun stuff to be found in the rest of the fill too. I like to go viral. This was a very nice ambiguous clue here. Check for bugs for beta test. I really liked that they crossed bogeyed with Tiger Woods. That's a nice little golf crossing. And this was a good pun too. Gets the let out for smelts. All right, well I hope you enjoyed fighting for our right to party on this beastly Wednesday puzzle. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.